All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K23, man, we got a lot of news because Mike has been tweeting a plethora, and I mean a plethora of news, man. So if y'all don't do nothing else, man, make sure y'all like the video. Also, we got some new content coming, man. Like I said, if you notice in the background, you see how we have the, um, we got the whole new mods and stuff like that man i feel like like this y'all if y'all didn't see the video yesterday make sure y'all go back and watch that that was an excellent video it took a lot of time for me to work on and all that good stuff man because i'm telling y'all I, I feel like this this whole trying to be good at this game man it ain't worth the only thing that you should be trying to do is create content so that's why like from now on y'all gonna be getting news jump shot videos and just content like this right here well i'm gonna look i commentated this game man if y'all want to see that joint and, and want to see me do something on twitch uh do different characters and stuff like that let me know man because i i was commentating this joint and it was hilarious i ain't gonna lie to y'all bro this joint was it was just crazy had the epidemics going and all this stuff y'all want me to put that video up let me know but also like i said make sure that y'all um make sure y'all go back and watch that last video that I put out because that last video was dope. Also, shameless plug real quick, Breeze Tease, my site. Uh, you see Goku out there on the court. You can have Goku on your chest, man. You know what I'm talking about? And uh, in any different color that you might want, man. And different shirts too, man. So y'all go check that out. Uh, make sure you cop one of those, man, because that's my uh, that's my personal joint. And uh, you know, we do, we do t-shirts and stuff like that, man. And uh, like I said, we gonna be changing the content up just because like I said, it really ain't worth the, the, the trying to be good and trying to do different type of content. I done tried everything and none of it's worked. So I'm gonna go back to my roots, commentating and just talking shit. That's what I'm gonna do, commentating and talking And then what better what better thing to talk talk uh, talk trash over than this stuff right here, man. Like, look, look, look at this, man. Like, this is all gold right here. Look at Goku get it, acrylic get the ball to Goku but the saving the uh, belly out again. Here you go, sizing up Scott. What you gonna do, Scott? Scott, you can't do that. Momentum cross to the rear. Right! Get up, war machine. Get up, mother Woo! Mother get up. Like, stuff like that, man. You know what I'm saying? It'll just be funny, man. It's gonna be a good time. We're gonna be putting out content like this. Every time they drop a mod pack or something like that, you know, we're gonna talk about how they doing this and how they just abuse Krillin. Bro, they tried to abuse Krillin the entire game. But that ain't what we're here to talk about, man. What we're here to talk about is, uh, is the tweets that Mike and all that, like I said, drop a like, man, and we're going to be giving away 2K23, all that stuff. Like, comment on this video. This is one of the key videos that you need to comment on to get 2K23. Also, go back, check out the last video we dropped. You need to comment on that. All that good stuff, man. I'm going to pick somebody from the comment section that's been commenting on all my videos since I dropped the patch video and has liked all the videos. That's who's going to win. So, you know, it is what it is. But anyway, here we go. I hit the wrong button. Check it out. The boy Dime Work said, first off, y'all need to get up out my boy Dime Work DMs. He does not have a direct link to Mike Wong. He don't got none of that, man. He said that since he since Mike responded to him, people are asking him stuff. He's like, bro, don't ask me. Ask Mike. But, you know, we're going we gonna to see what happened here. Anyway, check it out. Mike, is Circus 3's in the game? Uh, or is Agent 3's replacement because... Agent 3 sounds just like Circus 3, but I don't see Circus 3's as a removed badge. Mike responds, um, Agent 3's replaces Circus 3's. So we that's something that we all knew and we, we all figured or what have you. And then Dime says, appreciate the response. Mike, uh, has it been reworked in any way or just rebranded? Uh, I was interested I was interested in if, if it would stack with uh, Space Creator, seeing as now it's a shooting badge or is a uh, space creator only triggered on mid range. I don't think he got a response from that. Uh, you know, like, I don't think he got a response from that. Anonymous is like, well, <laughs> whatever, whatever. Uh, and then somebody says, you know, that's MIDI magician and all that good stuff. I don't know what type of game this is gonna be, man. This is gonna be MIDI centric or whatever. I'm just happy that, that one of the people that I rock with actually got a response from Mike. Mike, like I said, he been tweeting, he been talking to a lot of people and stuff, man, and I feel it. But like uh, Dime Work said, he said, bro, ever since I tweeted Mike, people been in my DMs like I'm Mike. Like they just, they just keep asking me question after question after question. I don't have the answer. I ain't got the answer, Sway. He don't have the answers. So y'all have to tweet Mike and see if you get it. But I, then he said he also sees why Mike comes in, does his thing, and then why he leaves because 
like his DMs and mentions and all that stuff, they got to be going crazy. But you know, it is what it is. I only have to DM Mike, man. He just watch the videos and then he just make changes according to what I say and then just don't tell me nothing. So, you know, it is what it is. Pick a low over Peter. I don't know what it is. But, uh, you know, like I said, hopefully... I know that there. I know that they had the list of remove badges, and I know they got the list of uh, badges that that replace them. But I think a lot of those things that we see, it, it's not going to be as true as we think it is. Like like some of the things that have been removed. I don't think everything that's been removed is on that sheet, and I don't think everything that's been added is on that sheet. And like I said uh, previously, the every everything that you can do is actually in the game. And then what they do is they, 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 you see how on a test run, they will go redefine something and define it as either a badge or tie an attribute to it. Just like fading threes or fading, uh, fading shot, moving shot used to be its own attribute. When they took that away, it's just in the game. They don't have a way to just per se, turn it on and turn it off. It's just like with glue hands. Glue hands was a thing or, uh, you know, glue hands was a thing because you had to get your, uh, your hands up or hands was a thing in 2K17. They took that away, they took that attribute away, and then they put it in, then they redefined it as glue hands and tied it to ball handling, and then now they took glue hands out of the game. But it's just gonna be in the game, and it's probably gonna be tied to ball handling. Uh, it's just not gonna be a badge or anything like that anymore. So, like I said, you're gonna, you're gonna see how it goes and a lot of that stuff, just like Sniper. Sniper's gone out of the game, but Sniper was just in the game. They just tied it to a badge. So all this stuff is in the game, and and it's and it's there and it's accessible it's just that whether they tie it to a badge or an attribute or they just just leave it vague and it's just in the game somewhere so that's how it goes man so that's why sometimes you'll see you'll be like dang this is gone but this is still in the game it's crazy right but you know it is what it is up next man we got we got uh bl swagger saying does pump faking take adrenaline adrenaline boost the same way that jumping for a block does and uh, Baluba says, pump faking doesn't use boost, but your shot ratings do drop hard if you spam the pump fakes. The more you spam, the larger the drop. And then, um, let me say, it's one person said, can you call three seconds on bigs, please, or whatever. And, uh, you know, he don't respond to that, obviously. But a lot of people were asking about that. I don't think we care about the fact that the pump fake, the person can pump fake you to death. It's the fact that he can move while he's pump fake, he pump, 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 pump. And like, like he, he, he getting his Adina Howard on down there. If y'all know the reference, y'all, y'all let me know. But he getting his Adina Howard on down there, pump faking, and he's moving you out of position. I got steady position. He's literally walking, he, he's traveling while he's doing it. So he's pump faking, getting closer to the rim, moving you out of position and all of that good stuff. And like I said, when you get excessive with it, it really doesn't matter because you just need a 50 layup to hit a layup or a 25 layup to hit a layup. You're not going to miss a layup. So if you pump fake somebody and it says wide open, does it really matter if your if your stuff drop? Because like I said, everybody was doing this. Even with pe even people, guards with zero close shot or people like Anonymous, he would just go down there and pump fake, pump fake, pump. I wish I had that video um, of it. Like he literally pump fake that dude to death and, and he moved. I'm going to try to see if I can find this joint. Uh, right quick, man. Hold on, let me let me see if I can. I'm, I'm gonna try to see if I can find it so I can understand y'all how bad the pump fake, um, the pump fake stuff is, man. Like you could literally pump fake a person and and move them out of the way, and when you move them out of the way, they just it's nothing that they could do. And he did it. He just mindlessly did it one day. Like he literally, he literally just pump faked the dude uh to death that one time and I know y'all probably heard him in the background just now sorry about that but uh he pump faked that dude to death that one day and it was just like bro oh uh, here we go right here I found it I I found it let me see if I can we're gonna we're gonna uh boom we're gonna hit that right there look at this man like this is what we're talking about we don't care about the fact that look he pump faked him he's sitting here having a casual conversation he's pump faking this dude and he's just moving look look Look, and then he finally jumps and it says open. That's what the problem is. It wouldn't matter what his, it doesn't matter what his ratings are. If you can do this right here and move, look, bro, he ain't even on the block when he started this. Look, look, look where he is. When the dude gets to cut off animation, he's he's beyond the block. And he pump fake, pump fake, pump fake, casually pump fake, pump fake, pump fake some more, pump fake. Now he's in the middle of the paint. The dude is under the rim. This dude goes from great positioning. I know y'all can see my mouth. He goes from great positioning right here. He got him stifled to now 
He's underneath the rim, and there's nothing he can do because even if he jump, he's going to hit his head. Look, he hit his head on the rim, and now he can't do nothing. That's what we're talking about with the pump fake. We don't care about his ratings dropping. His ratings dropping wouldn't do anything for that because it's an open shot. So, like I said, it, it is what it is. I just wish that people would ask the right questions because we ask these questions, but we don't ask the right questions, man. Like, it, it's bothersome because he'll respond to somebody that's asking a certain question, but they won't ask the right one. But you know, it is what it is. And uh, one person says, uh, this is uh, Ellis, Ellis Haywood. He says, will there be numbered animation releases in NBA 2K23? This gotta be a burner account. Ain't nobody gonna ask no question like that. Uh, in NBA 2K23, like it has been in previous 2Ks or only SIG release. And Mike says, there are no number releases. Jump shots have I mean, jump shots have been completely revamped. All shots are named after players. Now, what I'm thinking is, okay, but will somebody ask the right question? Because the people was asking other questions, but Brute came through and he asked the right question, and that was, will we be able to adjust jump shot speed in uh, 2K22? And uh, well. He didn't ask the right question. Is the jump shot creator still in the game is the right question. Because as soon as you say that, that everybody has a release named after a player or, or basis, he didn't say anything about basis. Did he say basis? He said there are no number releases, releases. But he didn't say there are no number basis. We don't give a damn. Rudy Gay is a name. That's a person. It's the only jump shot we gonna use, player. It don't matter. That's the only release we using is Rudy Gay. He's the person. We good. We good. Clap it up. Little last thunder, everybody. Yeah, we good. It don't matter. But anyway, like I said, though, uh, not to be super eccentric, but is it, is it me or does it Baluba answer a lot of questions from people with hardly no followers but won't take time <laughs> to speak with a content creator like Bruno said? <laughs> Like I said, it's a burner account. Who gonna ask about numbered shots? And uh, Baluba, Baluba answers questions uh, from from 2K burner accounts <laughs> to control what the community is without being without being no cloud for content creators. His favorite tells bro, I hate these dudes, bro. It is what it is, but uh, Don work is not a uh, what's the name. And then last but not least, we get the question. Uh, Shady Mike Gaming, he asked what I call the right question. He says, I wonder if we can still blend releases and stuff. Uh, they might they might have just killed off a whole community. And if they did, it'd be hard to say it was accidental. Uh, we need answers. And so Baluba, he came back. He said, any clarity here? And uh, he came back and he says, the, uh, the jump shot creator is still there. You can mix. You can mix and match bases and releases and control blending and speed. The, of course, he didn't. He didn't answer brutes. He, you can't. He can't answer brute on brute joint. But it is what it is. He says, uh, you know, the number, the number generic shots are gone, but there are way more sig shots than we've had than we've ever had. You'll find plenty of uh, you know options for for your shots this year. And then uh, any chance you could release the shooting attributes, uh, more SIGs and shots. So what I'm thinking is they're gonna have it to where you will be able to, you gonna well, obviously we got the jump shot creator. So that's what he just said. Jump shot creator, it is there. You will be able to use the jump shot creator. Somebody asked the right question. Jump shot creator, blending, all of that's there. Uh, he didn't say, he said there are no more number releases, but he did not say that there are no, no more numbered bases. So that's what I'm. That's what makes me wonder uh, how how valid this is, how viable it's gonna be, or whatever. I know it's gonna be cool because we're gonna we're gonna watch it. Anyway. We're gonna play the game anyway, and we're gonna figure it out. And all you have to really do, bro, just go in. Like let's say if it's jump shot three, bro, go into the NBA game, my NBA, look at the roster, find somebody that uses jump shot three, and that's what I'm about to be going to do right now. Find a player that uses jump shot three as their base, and y'all probably already know. If you know, put it down in the comment section, and then that's probably the player that they're gonna be using, you know what I'm saying, uh, for jump shot three. So instead of being, let's say, let's say if, um, let's say if uh, Bimbo Coles uses jump shot, base, base jump shot three, then instead of it being jump shot three, it would just be Bimbo, it, you know what I'm saying, it's gonna be Bimbo Coles. You see what I'm saying, am I making sense? So it'll be named, it'll be named B Coles instead of being jump shot three. So all you gotta do is go into the, the game and look and see who uses jump shot three right now. And one of those players will be inevitably, will inevitably have base three or whatever. That's all you gotta do, man. So it is what it is. 
Uh, we will, it looks like we're gonna ha be having to do some investigative work using 2K22 in order to find jump shots on 2K23, but it's all good because all you gotta do is, all you gotta do is sub to me. I'm gonna have all that information. I'm dropping hella jump shots in this. I'm talking about hella jump shots and bills in this. Y'all might, might as well call me short dog in the house because these shorts about to be dropping. These videos about to be dropping. All this stuff about to be dropping, man. So keep it locked here. I got all the news. I got all the insight. And if you're a trash player like I am, bro, which is 90% of the community, we already proved it. You should definitely be sub to me. You shouldn't be sub to somebody like, well, you, well, you, you shouldn't be trying to do what T-Mills will do if you're not that good at the game. You should be trying to do what I do. Sit in the corner. Play good defense, sub to Team Mizzle and Brute and all those guys. Learn how they like to play the game and learn how you should play with that type of point guard. But also, you should be trying to figure out how can I be good if I'm Like if Jay can be good and he's complete and utter then why, why can't I be good? Cause y'all, I know y'all better than me. So sub to the channel, I'm gonna teach y'all how to be good even if you like me. Anyway, hopefully y'all guys enjoyed the video, man. If y'all want me to drop that video, uh, let me know. And I'm gonna holler at y'all next time, man. Y'all have a good weekend. And uh, we'll be on Twitch later on. And we're gonna be commentating these joints right here, man. I ain't gonna lie. I found a whole new zest for the game uh, just because we got, you know, the mods and stuff. We will be doing mods next year. We're gonna be doing signature games, key games. Uh, Ray G. Miller is coming back. All that stuff, man. So keep it locked here, man. And I'm gonna holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy Jay, he's the AKA Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Guys, please.